Okay, girls, are you ready for the hard puzzle? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. It's starting with all my vowels. I'm You're going to start with all your vowels? I'm starting by row by row. Okay. However you would like to do it is fine. Two P's? Maybe that's a bit of a trick, okay? Eh? Oh, that's right. I'm gonna stay this way, okay? Okay. Where's the where's the a Q? Wait, two P's? No, that's a D. Where's the Q? Oh. There it is. Okay, you try and look for it and find it. Okay, you girls are doing a great job. It's, si it's similar to the easy puzzle. Um, this is a great opportunity if you've got notes to write. The kids can do this independently while you're um, doing your notes. And also, if you have students who present with autism spectrum disorder, sometimes they like to go in sequential order, so you might want to have that prepared ahead of time so that they can go in order um, because they like that sequential order. And then after that, um, try the random. This is easy too, even when it's going to be hard. Good. That was Sasha. Done. All done? Okay, say I'm finished and go ask Mary Jane for $10. I'm finished. <laughs> and I'll put it in my pocket again. Okay. How are you making out? Good. You're almost done. You're doing a great job. I was taking my time, so then it's easier for me to do it. Good. Nice job. And can you hold this up to show the camera that this is magnetized? Great. So you can see that the letters aren't going to fall off. Okay, you can put it back down again and go ask Mary Jane for $10. Okay. <laughs> Let's see.